one of the things I was reading, and there was a comment about user stories, and they said user stories help shift the issue from a written to a verbal um, format or verbal discussion. And I kind of disagree a little bit on user story. It's not, it's, you know, and that goes to the minimum of documentation, right? So they say, hey, user, user, format, user story format gets you away from doing the written. But that's not really what it does. What it really does is get you away from trying to figure out everything in advance. It doesn't say anything about, it doesn't prevent anything from getting written. So what the user story does with this key concepts is it allows for the conversation. You remember the three, if you hear this, and there's a lot of C's out there. So the three C's, card, conversation, and confirmation. So the conversation part. So it's not that it, um, they forget the confirmation at the end, right? And the confirmation is the written, in my opinion, the written part. So when you have a user story, it allows you to have a conversation with other people, other mindsets. And the idea is that by keeping it light on the description where it's just, um, I am so-and-so, so, so that, um, and I want this so that this happens, right? So I'm Greg Messer. I want to be on TikTok so I can reach the people that call me Boomer <laughs> in the future, maybe. Help them out. Uh, maybe a kid's version of uh, Scrum, uh, 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Anyway, so with that, you have that story. So now you go, okay, we talk a couple people. So how does that happen? So rather than being a single point or having some studies and groups out there months ahead of time, you get all your people that are in the team and different members that kind of know your software. And you talk about it then and there, right? You get a lot of rapid ideas and, and concepts of what goes into that user story. Build some tasks that we may lay it, that out. Build some acceptance criteria so you have this conver conversation. And in the end, you document what your acceptance criteria, your confirmation, and then you all agree that that's what you want. And it's a real rapid thing. So it's not necessarily a verbal replacement. It is causes you to have the conversation to fill in how you want to get there and what should it look like, which is very important for how you're going to do it. So I just wanted to talk about that. It's not a replacement of documentation. It's not a user story. It's not like, hey, we don't want to have any specs. We don't have a list of Sample data, you know, all that stuff can go in a user story. It's attached to it now in the IT systems and all that. Um, but it really just has everybody bring it together. Do we have enough information to answer this? And what does this really mean? Rather than come from one person, it comes from the whole team or a whole team of people, but it happens real fast. So that's one of the things I want to talk about today. And that was just a basic disagreement on not having stuff written, because that is one complaint I hear. People have been told, well, you don't write anything. It's just one liner. That's the user story, and that's all the requirements you get. No, 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 no. That's not not what's supposed to happen. What's supposed to happen is basically write that one liner and and have some fill in that you know the team wants, and then you go from there. So, so that's that topic. So that. Do, 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 do. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope you're all doing well. It is Friday after Thanksgiving here in the States. And I was just showing off. Um, this is a G-Scale boxcar because it is the week, train week, right? Because I'm doing stuff. And this is an HO scale. So now you can see the different. This is HO scale, which you may see a lot of the train sets and people have at home and all going around the train, the trees during the holidays. And they do a lot of stuff but here's the g scale so you can see the difference and why i say when kids see these things they can see them a mile away so hey relative sizing right how do you size this ho scale train to this g scale train 